My name is Binod Sundarajan. I'm an associate professor at the Rose School of Business in the Faculty of Management at Dalhousie University. I've been using simulations as a pedagogical tool and an andragogical tool for almost 11 plus years now. In general, students are often far removed from the real world. So in the business school, at least one way to get them to have that perspective of what happens in the real world is cases. And a good way for them to get engaged is to see what's happening and its application of theory in the real world. And that was one of the reasons why I chose to use simulations. I mean, I'm also fond of role play uh, as a technique uh, to get perspectives across. In this particular class, it's first year MBA students and the course is their first introduction to organizational behavior. So the last two years that I've taught it, I've repurposed that course with an, a focus on organizational structure, organizational culture, leadership and management issues, and HR, human resources related. So that's how the course is now structured and students go through various cases to hit those points. This final case, the simulation was revolving around human resources, how human resources can help or not in an organization. The Walt Disney Company is considered to have one of the best or industry standard benchmark human resources. They're so aware of what their employees need. Their employees are not called employees, but cast members. And they're in role all the time, as even if they take a break. But the actual case for the students in the simulation was the Weinstein Company. And as you're probably aware, in recent times, the Harvey Weinstein scandal has exploded, which has resulted in today's Me Too campaign. And I wanted the student teams to focus on that, saying, here's how it should be done. Here's, let's see whether the Weinstein Company did it. So I had eight teams in class, about five students per team. I think one team had six. And I formed two sets of stakeholders, internal and external. The internal stakeholders for the Weinstein Company were senior management, human resources, employees, and the board. And the external was the public, the media, the Motion Picture Association of America. So basically uh, external. Each student team adopted that stakeholder and their view of the Weinstein Company Company came from that stakeholder and that stakeholder alone. And the crux of all of this was human resources. Why did human resources at the Weinstein Company drop the ball? As has happened in other organizations as well. Probably the most valuable thing I learned from participating in the simulation was that a lot of different stakeholders within every business decision have different viewpoints and have different values that reflect the decisions they make within those business decisions. For example, I had to take the perspective of the employees at the company and for me what was most important was maintaining my job and feeling safe within my position at the company. Whereas the executives, for example, needed to actually ensure that the company would remain functional in the foreseeable future. So since I have a theater background, my favorite part was that it was role play. And my favorite part about theater is that it applies to all different um, kind of sectors of business because it's presentation skills and um, communication, meeting new people kind of thing. So I actually really liked that I got to play the different roles, uh, especially as investors, because that's not actually a position that I consider an interest for me to have in the future. I'm not sure if I'm interested in investment, but it was cool to see the different ways that I could address stakeholders. And th I think that was fun, just getting to play different roles and practicing for the future. I think one of the most important things someone can learn bringing into business is actually empathy. And doing a simulation in class forces you to actually step inside the shoes of another person and try to understand what it is that's affecting them and really take that empathetic approach. In the classroom setting it's important but just as well as in the future when I'm looking to get a career, understanding what it is that a company is looking for and what it is that I can provide provide and being really empathetic towards their needs is something that I think is very, very valuable.